A diagnosis of infertility means that you haven't been able to get pregnant even after a year of trying to conceive. If you're a woman over 35, it means that you haven't been able to get pregnant after six months of trying. Women who are able to conceive but not carry a pregnancy to term may also be diagnosed with infertility. Infertility affects millions of people of reproductive age worldwide and has an impact on their families and communities. Estimates suggest that between 48 million couples and 186 million individuals live with infertility globally. This disorder can affect male as well as female. But in women, the rate of infertility is higher than in men. In the female reproductive system, infertility may be caused by a range of abnormalities of the ovaries, uterus, fallopian tubes, and the endocrine system, among others. Today, in our video, we will learn all about the different types of infertility, its causes, diagnosis, and treatment. So, let's get started. What are the different kinds of infertility? Infertility can be primary or secondary. Primary infertility is when a pregnancy has never been achieved by a person and secondary infertility is when at least one prior pregnancy has been achieved. Just like the primary infertility, the secondary one can occur due to an issue at any point in the natural and somewhat complicated process that is required to become pregnant. Your fertility can change even after the birth of a single child. What causes infertility in women? Infertility may be caused by a number of different factors in either the male or the female reproductive system. However, it is sometimes not possible to explain the cause of infertility. In the female reproductive system, infertility may be caused by tubal disorders such as blocked fallopian tubes which are in turn caused by untreated sexually transmitted infections or complications of unsafe abortion, postpartum sepsis, or abdominal surgery, etc. Uterine disorders which could be inflammatory in nature such as endometriosis, congenital in nature such as septate uterus, or benign in nature such as fibroids. Disorders of the ovaries such as polycystic ovarian syndrome and other follicular disorders. Disorders of the endocrine system causing imbalances of reproductive hormones. The endocrine system includes hypothalamus and the pituitary glands. Examples of common disorders affecting this system include pituitary cancers and hypopituitarism. How can infertility in women be diagnosed? If you have been trying to conceive and haven't been able to, you're likely wondering when you should plan to see a doctor. A woman's fertility begins to decrease following age 30. Women under 35 should visit a doctor after one year of trying to get pregnant, while women of the age of 35 and above should visit a doctor after six months of trying. Your doctor will first take your medical history. They'll ask about the current state of your health, your sexual history, and any conditions or illnesses that could contribute to infertility. Then they'll perform an examination of your pelvic areas to check for abnormalities such as fibroids or conditions such as endometriosis or PID. Your doctor will want to see if you're ovulating every month. This can be determined with an at-home ovulation testing kit or through blood testing at the doctor's office. An ultrasound may also be used to examine the ovaries and the uterus. Other common tests for women include laparoscopy, which uses a camera to examine the internal organs, ovarian reserve testing, which uses a combination of hormone tests to determine a woman's potential for conceiving, FSH test, this test for follicle stimulating hormone in the body. Are you at risk of being infertile? Risk factors for female infertility include increasing age, smoking cigarettes, heavy use of alcohol, being overweight, obese, or significantly underweight, 
having certain sexually transmitted infections that can damage the reproductive system. A variety of medical conditions can affect the female reproductive system and cause infertility in women. Examples include ovulation disorders, pelvic inflammatory disease, endometriosis, uterine fibroid. Treatment options are available. The treatment for female infertility can involve surgery, medication, and reproductive assistance such as assisted reproductive technology or ART. Sometimes several types of treatments are needed to help address female infertility. Although surgery can sometimes be used to treat female infertility, it has become much more rare now due to advancements in other fertility treatments. Surgery can improve fertility by correcting an abnormally shaped uterus, unblocking fallopian tubes, removing fibroids, etc. Reproductive assistance can involve methods such as intrauterine insemination and ART. During intrauterine insemination, millions of sperms are injected into a woman's uterus near the time of ovulation. IVF is one type of ART which involves the removal of eggs that are then fertilized with a man's sperm in a laboratory. After fertilization, the embryo is placed back into the uterus. The medications used to treat female infertility works like hormones that are naturally present in the body to either encourage or regulate ovulation. Experiencing infertility can be harrowing and difficult for a person. You need your family's support in such times and do follow all your physician's advice diligently. We hope you found useful information in this video and if you liked it, please share it with your friends. Thank you and have a great day. Remember, you are not alone. That's all from us today. We want you to know that your voice is important to us, so please leave a comment below. If you're new here, then click the bell icon for notifications of our new videos. For more content, visit our website www.thevoiceofwomen.com. Till the next time, stay safe and stay healthy and let your voice be heard.